that's better can't do anything without a bit of lippy <laughs> my name's louise and this is lg vlogs welcome to my channel you're going to find a bit of everything on here not only am I sometimes a bit of a health enthusiast, I hope to share with you insights into all my creative endeavours which include fluid art, painting, prop making, singing, karaoke, shopping and vlogging all my experiences both on stage and behind the curtain. I have no idea where we will go, but why not subscribe and come join me on my journey. Welcome to Louise Gall Vlogs, life and stuff. Yes, I know, it's Charlton again, but we've come over here today, we're going to a couple of different shops. Well, a couple of the same shops and a couple of different. Um, we've just been to B&Q to pick up some stuff for the garden, um, some kiln sand, because I'm going to get nifty out there again when uh, school packs up in a couple of weeks. Um, we're going to Home Bargains, I've got to go Primark's again, and then we're going to I think Asda's and possibly somewhere else. Someone's just hit my car. Nice. Another bag of stuff from Primarks. Oh my god. Oh dear. <laughs> Hello again. Now, before I go on, I have to explain. When I went shopping before, it was on Friday, last Friday. It's now Monday afternoon. Um, over the weekend, I attempted to video my. What I bought bit um, but it was a mixture of very noisy neighbours who even though they were all shouting at each other in the garden decided to get a PA system out and listen to music and talk to each other as well so that was happening um, the sun finally reappeared and it was casting awful curtain shapes and shadows all over my face so in the end I decided to give up and just enjoy pina colada day on Saturday um, but yes so we're, we're attempting another go today. It's now Monday. Now, I've got to try and remember everything that happened. Um, the whole point of our visit to Charlton again last week, and yes, I know, it's the third video and it's Charlton again. I do hope to get somewhere else or go somewhere else eventually. But the reason we went to uh, Charlton this time was we wanted to get some kiln sand in B&Q. Now, um, my mum and I have been watching a lovely chap called uh, Ricky Banjo who has a company called Bournemouth Jet Washing and um, he goes around and he jet washes people's driveways and gardens and patios and decking and stuff and it's amazing I absolutely love watching and doing um, jet washing um, I find it really therapeutic and it's, it's so I don't know I just love cleaning up dirty things um, so was watching some of his videos and after every clean that he does he goes back and uh, once it's all dry he lays down kiln sand now I've heard I don't know how true it is exactly but I've heard kiln sand is very good at killing weeds or it's or it stops it prevents them holds them back a little bit and it also makes the patio look rather nice and finished off so um last year we jet washes jet washed our garden um I'm hoping that I'll get to do it again this summer but um if not we're going to 
totally weed it because it's um it's not quite looking like Jurassic Park out there yet, but um, they're all all the weeds are starting to come up, and uh, we want to do it at the front garden as well. We want to try and clean up the patio out there and get rid of the weeds there. So that was our main reason, really, for going to Charlton last week, was to get some kiln sand. Um, we got that. Uh, my dad got a couple of other bits, and of course, I had to. I couldn't drive past Home Bargains and Primarks without having to wander in. So this is technically another. Um, home bargains and primarks haul but i did also um i did venture over to the other side um the other the other side of the retail park and i did go to poundland there and went into the new wilkinsons i've not been into the new wilkinsons yet and but to be quite well to be quite frank i was <laughs> i was disappointed um poundland down charlton i don't know i don't I think the one that's near me is slightly bigger, but um, you would expect being in a slightly more populated and popular area uh, with regards to retail. I, I don't know. I just thought there'd be a little bit more in there, but there wasn't. There's actually more in our local one. So on the end of this video, I'll actually sh show you the little wonder I had. It's only very tiny. Um, I'll show you the little wonder that I had wandering around our local one. So there's no footage from the Charlton Pound Land and there's no footage from the Wilkinsons either because everything that we thought we'd get in Wilkinsons, um, we couldn't get in there. So yeah, we didn't come home with anything from there. But anyway, I digress. Let's get on with it. Now, before before I get into what I bought actually, um, two little, well, one little recap and another interesting thing that I did. Um, you may remember in my last video I bought a frame, a picture frame in HomeSense and I told you all about a, a lovely uh, bottle bag that I bought in Poundland a few weeks ago. The quality may change a little bit now in video because I just realised I had Ultra HD turned on which only lets me record for about two to three minutes and that's probably why my phone's always telling me I've got no space. Anyway, so I've changed it now. Anyway, yes, so you'll probably remember that um, I was telling you about this wine bottle bag and a frame that I bought. Well, I, I did it. And this is the final thing. I love it. Isn't it brilliant? I just think it adds a little pop of colour. And it's finished off nicely by the silver frame. So that is going to prop up next to my bed here. I just lo I love the bag because it was like a little hologrammy kind of effect. And I'm, as I said before, I'm mad about flamingos. So, um, yeah. So that's that there. So that's my picture frame all done now the other thing i did um i, I was flicking through a catalogue and there was this catalogue was <laughs> was selling uh two bottles of exclamation for 25 pounds and that that was a name i haven't heard for a few years i remember when i was back at school everyone used to be mad about charlie red and exclamation and so instantly when i saw this catalog and that they wanted 25 pound for two bottles i thought no surely not it's not that expensive now and i well rightly so i went on amazon and of course it's only six pound fifty a bottle so being so cheap i thought let's order a bottle and see if it smells the same and it kind of does i don't know it's uh, it's weird it smells a little bit um not lavender what is it it might be lavendery lemony i don't know but um it was quite interesting to smell that again after all these years so yeah if you're interested in retro perfumes i only wear this to school sometimes i like saving my nice stuff for the weekend if i'm going out on a day or something actually i don't that's a lie i wear my nice one all the time i really like uh viva la juicy couture the gold bottle and the pink bottle is rather nice as well and if i don't wear that i sometimes wear um is it frederico mahora it's the it's the scent that's supposed to smell like uh, um is it black diamonds i can't remember what it's called but it smells lovely but yeah so this one i've been wearing to school occasionally just for a, just for a little bit of a retro trip down memory lane but yeah so if you're interested in that that was on amazon and it was six pound fifty it's a massive 50 mil bottle six pound fifty amazon so yeah, even if you just want to smell it, have a little bit of a scent memory. It's only six pound fifty. Um, right. So on with what we did last week. So yes, we went B and Q, 
Home Bargains, Primarks, Poundland, Wilkinson's, Card Factory and Asda's. Card Factory had some lovely cards actually. Um, they had a bit of an offer on where you could buy, um, they had certain cards which were 29p each and you could buy four of them for a pound. And then the section by the door was free, free larger size cards for 99p. So I came home with a whole bundle of them for our card box. But that was rather good. I do though feel, well I wish that they would um, offer a little bit more on the generic men's cards. There was a section and it was all granddad, dad, son, nephew, uncle, things like that. But as far as just a plain generic card for a man goes, um, unless they like drinking, unless they like uh, golf, cricket or fishing, there's not much out there. And, I, you know, I know a couple of lads that don't drink anymore. So, you know, and they don't like golf and they don't go fishing. So what do you do? You know, so, yeah, it would be nice to the people that make cards out there. Why don't you make a few more that for, 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 for the gentlemen out there? Why should we just send them cards suggesting they go fishing or play golf or drink? Let's have a few more ideas out there. Come on. I know we can do it. Anyway, um, so, yes, I, where did we go? Yeah, there's home, home bargains first, let's do home bargains. So, um, again, we've gone mad on these skinny bars, lots of these skinny bars. These, these are just lovely. And I don't know, I'm, I'm actually enjoying these more than normal, uh, normal chocolate nowadays. So I've got quite a few packs of them. They've got white, uh, oh, these are bliss bars. So they you get different. There's skinny bars and there's bliss bars. Um, skinny bars, 99. They're all about 99 calories. And uh, they're gluten free as well, most of them. I don't know what the skinny bars are, whether they are. But in the skinny bars, you can get double chocolate, strawberry and chocolate, mint, mint and dark chocolate or toffee and chocolate. But these ones are, I think they're a fairly new one. This is chocolate orange and they're lovely. Um, so I've got those ones. I've also got uh, chocolate peanut bars, which are rather nice. Love them. And on the Bliss bars, we got white chocolate and raspberry. Uh, this is chocolate orange, so that's their version. That's their chocolate orange bars. tried these yet this is dark chocolate and coconut so i'm hoping they'll take a little they'll taste a, a little bit like a bounty that would be rather nice but yeah again not nine calories and this one i really love this one which is weird because i'm not actually a lover of white chocolate i prefer milk or dark um but this is white chocolate and lemon and they, they were actually lovely i liked them um a couple of people asked me if uh, they could have one and I was reluctant to hand them over because they were so nice. But um, yeah, so these, I really recommend these as well. But again, don't buy them all because I like them. Um, I, I stocked up on some more Slim Fast Nibbles, pretzels. Pretzels, is that how you say them? Yeah. And then I got some more Caramel Slim Fast because oh, I just love this at the minute. I could drink this all day. Um, it's actually a little bit nicer than the chocolate one. Um, a friend of mine at work, um, a couple of people have been inspired to try it as well. And a friend of mine at work today said she's actually tried the Keto Mocha uh, Slim Fast Shake drink today. And she didn't like it. She said it tasted a little bit long. So um, I haven't opened mine yet. But what um, those ones you don't make with milk, you mix with water. So that could be... That could be why it's a little bit different. But um, yeah, I'm going to try that one soon. So I'll let you know if the mocha is any good. Um, so, oh, and I've got a vanilla one this time. I've got a vanilla one too, because what I saw um, on the, I think it was the American Slim Fast Facebook page a few days ago. Um, they actually took vanilla and they they had one scoop of vanilla shake and then they put a spoonful of coffee into it um now i have a, a zero the powdered coffee and um so it would mix in lovely with this so i'm hoping 
I'm hoping that it will be a nice, a nice, you know, coffee flavoured milkshake um, eventually. So that one I'll be trying as well soon. Um, that was about it really for home bargains. We didn't go, we didn't go too mad today, and we didn't come home with any um, flamingos or anything. It was just a general stock up of bits and pieces. But I went into Primark, Primarni, and. The reason I went in was um, Lois, lovely Lois on, is it Life with Lois? She went and um, she did a little bit of a clothes haul last week and she bought this lovely tropical looking top, which was like a, is it a bardo? I think it's called a bardo. And um, oh, I loved it. I love all them bright colours. Um, so I went in to try and get one, but unfortunately they didn't have my size. So I had to walk away from that one. But they did have um, another thing that she tried on and i've tried this on and i really can't wait to wear this i'm, I'm the, the weather has been really rubbish just lately so i've just been bunging on a pair of leggings or a t-shirt or something like that but um they actually had these lovely little dresses so that when it's warm i just know once the weather comes it's going to be lovely but um yeah it's a nice long nice long maxi dress with a slit up the side and it comes up i've tried it on and it comes up just above my just above my knee um a friend said that it was a little bit high but hey yolo so um but it's got a lovely little uh bit that comes down over your booby lars um to give you that extra little bit of lining and it's just so nice and flowy and this one is actually size 18 i had to get an 18 because i have lost a little bit of weight but where it's where it's got that little bit of extra stretch and giving it um i think if i'd have gone for anything bigger it would have it would have just been hanging hanging down low and bits hanging out and that's not nice is it so um yeah that was lovely so this is i don't know if it, the camera's picking it up truly but it's like a lovely little orange color dress and it was 13 pounds 13 pounds isn't that great so yeah i can't wait to wear that um oh i bought this t-shirt i actually wore it yesterday to my aunt's barbecue my aunt was celebrating her 60th birthday and uh, this is lovely this is like an oversized um t-shirt very long i love long t-shirts comes down well past your bum and halfway down my thighs and um on the front it's got one more chance one more chance written on it and this size i've got two x two xl in this one because I, I i do like it to be a little bit baggy sometimes and this was six pounds so it was six pound that one excuse the nutmeg hanger it wasn't from nutmeg it's just that i'm running out of hangers but um yeah so that was lovely that was really comfortable as well it just feels so nice the material's so nice it's lovely and cool so yeah i've got that one um, oh, I bought another pair of these lovely trousers. Oh my goodness, they're they're not har they're not har is it harem pants? They're not them, but they're they're cinched in a little bit at the bottom. And uh, but the last time I got an extra large, and um, I had, well this this part on them doesn't actually tighten. It's um it's just for show. It only goes through there and out the other side again. So I couldn't actually tighten the others up. So the other ones I'm going to keep for days that I'm feeling really, really kind of slouchy. Um, but these ones, these are a size smaller and they fit lovely. And they just feel so nice on. You know, even like, I mean, leggings are comfy. I love my leggings. But these ones, they didn't actually feel like I had anything on. It was lovely. Lovely material. But these are £6 another six pounds so yeah i actually bought two of them <laughs> you know back up here um i bought some of these like a little matching set of uh yeah hmm. i'm used to me bridget joneses you know i've always been a i've always been a, a bridget jones um knicker wearer but these, I thought, well, they'd be quite nice, like underneath that dress, the orange dress. And, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm just not too sure about the bong bit. <laughs> I don't know about that. 
Hmm. Um, but yeah, it's a nice soft material. There's no underwire. I do like. I, I prefer underwire bras, but I just thought you know them days where it's really hot and you just you just want to feel cool and you know not trussled up. It'll be nice to wear underneath that that dress. So I've got those. Oh, they were five pound. Five pound for the matching set. They had. Uh, they came in black. That neutral nude colour. And there was a lovely like taupe taupey kind of colour. Uh, which was quite nice but these the straps were slightly thicker along the top so it would probably be better under a t-shirt or something like that really than rather than one of them strappy dresses um, get... oh um oh damn this was from home bargains i put it in the wrong bag so i bought these in home bargains as well it's lovely green hair band there it reminded me of loki <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah got myself a little hairband not bad it's the first time i've tried that on and i bought this one um i'm gonna do another video as to why i bought this one i think i'm gonna wear it anyway i bought this one as it's a um a nice sparkly one which i thought would look quite nice when i've got my big bun on um, there's an event coming up as well that I'm going to, so I think it might be it might be appropriate for that. But yeah, that was I'm sure this was two pound forty nine. This one, and I think this one was one forty nine. I want to say one forty nine, but even so, you can't go wrong, can you? Look at the green on that. Oh, it's just lovely. It's just lovely. Right. So that was home bargains. That wasn't Primani. Um, what else did I get Primarks? Oh, I bought some hangers because of all these lovely clothes I keep buying. Uh, £2.80 there for 10 non-slip um, lovely velvety feeling hangers. Quite nice. Um, a lot of mine, like my dresses, they just slide off the hangers I've got. So they, they come with these little notches in which are quite handy and they're also good for trousers. So I might actually be able to put some clothes away soon. Oh dear. Um, I bought some more of them because you know they're always by the till. And you, always, you can never have enough of them for little things. Um, I put them in the bottom of like, I have some type, like little cups that I store my uh, makeup in and stuff. I put them in the bottom of there so they don't mark the, they don't mark the bottoms of the pots. And uh, little things like that. Also for your makeup, taking makeup off and stuff. And that was 50p. There's 120 um little round cosmetic pads in there so that's a good bargain as well um now this oh this was brilliant okay so <clears throat> these are like on the wall at the back of primarks and um i i cut i'm i'm tall i'm not short but um even i had a job actually trying to go through them all to find an appropriate size for me so i literally had to strip half of the shelf um to be able to access the ones at the back and at the back i found two of these in my size so i got uh this is an extra large which fits an 18 to 20 and um oh, it's going to be lovely <sighs> look at it it's just fantastic it's really long I'll, I'll try and um i don't know i'm not the best like for full full length photos i'm not i'm not that not that you know nice to look at but um i thought in the garden oh because what i did is quite hilarious actually a couple of weeks ago i went to my local poundland and i bought myself a little paddling pool so um during the holidays if we ever get some nice weather i'm gonna blow up my paddling pool and i'm gonna sit in it i'm gonna pretend i'm on holiday and i thought you know you come out if I've got me little uh, swimming cosy on, get out, put that on, pour myself a drink, put my glasses on, pretend I'm in the Riviera. <laughs> oh dear. But this is just so lovely. It's obviously a little bit see-through. You can see me through it. Um, so definitely something to be worn over something else. It's made using recycled materials. Or is that just the label? No, this product contains at least 30% recycled materials, which is rather lovely. Um, and it cost £10, and that was an extra large, 18 to 20. So there, I'm going to be glamming my garden this summer. 
listening to my neighbour's music and then we'll shout at each other over a PA system. Lovely. But yeah, so I'm really chuffed with that. But um, I just wish they'd, they'd bring the little, ha the, the little um, shelves out down a little bit so that even us short, tall people, if that makes sense, can reach. Um, the other thing I got, they gave me another free hand sanitizer, which I kept in the car, a little bottle of hand sanitizer. And these are, um, I'd bought some lunch with me the other day and uh, obviously walking around the shop, I was worried about getting back to the car and then not having anything to wipe my hands on. So I picked these up. There, this is actually, it was a free pack, but I've left one in the car again. And it's uh, their Primark's Biodegradable Hand and Body Cleansing Wipes. Um, for all skin types. I was going to attempt to read the French then, but yeah, save myself the embarrassment. Um, but they're for all skin types. Enriched with aloe vera. Dermatolo dermatolo dermatologically tested. I can't even say it. Um, and they're biodegradable. So yeah, I've got a packet of them in the car. And um, I'll probably keep a pack pair, packet beside me on the settee. In my own bag, maybe, for if I go out shopping. So that was that. Um, what else can I tell you about? Oh, George Michael. Um, they launched a shop. The, the website, George, the official George Michael website, that's what I'm trying to say, launched a shop. And they um, they had this lovely t-shirt on there. Let me go and get it. Right, I'm back. Um, I've already got a t-shirt, a George Michael t-shirt with like um, him in the faith pose on the front. And, um, but... I always wanted, oh, as soon as I saw the shop was open, I was like, I've got to have something official. So I treated myself to this. And, uh, oh, isn't it great? It looks huge on the, <laughs> it looks huge on the phone, oh, but it isn't. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely, lovely picture of George with his glasses on. Brilliant. And I think oh, it cost me £30, but it's George Michael, man. I had to have it. I love George. I miss him so much. Um, that's about it then for the haul. Um, let me show you that little bit from when I went to Poundland. When was it? On Saturday? On Saturday. It's Saturday, so I've come along to my local Poundland today. It's slightly better than the one in Charlton, and I noticed they've actually started selling Slim Fast as well now, which is good. So at least I know if I ever run out of anything at home, I can get it in here. The makeup section is also better in, in our store. Uh, always lots in stock, and it's always put out really nice. I actually um, use this finishing spray uh, myself when I do my makeup and these baskets are also really handy I use them to put my little sandals and flip flops in beside my bed and I've also got another one on my shoe cupboard where I, I, I kind of dump all the things that I should really put away <laughs> um, I love the home section in here oh, let's have a look we buy their bath mats um, we've got all their little soap dishes and dispensers in our bathroom. We've got those mirrors at the top there. And I do like the artificial plants that they sell in Poundland. They're just beautiful. Here's the one that I bought for our bathroom, which is up on top of the cupboard. And uh, we've got another one on the windowsill. Just use it up a bit. Is a little bonus for you. Um, my neighbour has foxes living in her shed, and they've all just come out. So let me turn my phone around. Hang on a minute. There they are. That one's having a bit of a scratch. But yeah, there were. I'm sure there were five babies originally. Um, I don't know whether. The other two have become a little bit brave and have gone off with mum. But, um, yeah. Aren't they cute? They're very, very noisy, though. And uh, it can get quite annoying when they decide to all run around in the shed. 
at three, four o'clock in the morning when you're trying to sleep. <laughs> but um, yeah, the crazy thing is there's actually um, a magpie which um, stands and waits for them to come out. And as soon as mum goes off on a bit of a trick, the magpie follows her. And uh, last week, <laughs> it was quite funny, They um, mum brought back a naan bread or something from one of the gardens over the back. And while the foxes weren't looking, the magpie, the magpie flew off with the naan bread, the whole naan bread. Um, that was quite amusing. Um, but yeah, they are lovely. Um, but it would be quite nice. It will be quite nice when they decide to move off into the into the ether. Well, what's the word? What's, what's the word? It will be nice when they decide to sort of like leave home. Um, it is a bit nerve wracking when you're in the garden because um, you're just worried of them coming in. And when the kiddies come to visit, it's not nice. But yeah, they're rather cute. So that's about it for this video um in my next video yeah in my next video i'm going to do an announcement um yeah i'm not going to say what it is yet well i've got two announcements to make at some point but until the other one is going to happen for definite i'm not going to say anything um but yeah i do have a little bit of an announcement um for something that's coming up for me um so that'll be in the next video. But that's all for now. Um, thank you very much again for watching. Um, it's so nice to have people watching other than my mum. Because <laughs> um, although she loves me, bless her, it's nice to know that other people are, in, are enjoying the videos as well. So if you're new to the channel and you you quite like it, you know, I mean, it's, a, it's a very random. I say this in every video. Um, I never know what's going to happen so if you fancy coming along with us do subscribe give us a like share my videos um yeah and hopefully i mean i, I, I put a thing um out the other day and a, a few of my friends have said they'd like to see um like makeup vlogs um daily routine vlogs things like that so i am getting a little bit of a list together so that it is going to be a little bit varied and you know um a little bit more random interesting for everyone um but yeah do do uh do follow us i'm on instagram as well um you can find me on on twitter um but if you purely just want information about this channel then come over to the instagram um the instagram account for this for this channel and uh yeah i'll see what i can do but yeah thank you very much for tuning in um and hopefully i'll be back soon with that announcement so take care of yourselves. Lockdown's almost over. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Um, massive gutter that we didn't win the football last night, but our boys did us proud, really. When you when you think the immense pressure that um, all them boys must have been under, um, you know, I salute them. What you know? What what a crazy, crazy thing to experience. Um, I don't think it was won fairly. Um, yeah, too many fouls and yellow cards for me, for them to, <laughs> for them to have won it. Um, but there you go. There's always going to be, there's always going to be a loser. And unfortunately it was us this time, but we've proved we can do it. We could have gone home. We could have gone home weeks ago, let's face it, but we didn't. We actually got to the finals. So, um, yeah, all the people out there that are giving the England team a bit of a hard time at the moment. Just take a step back. We'll do it again. There's always another time. These boys can do it. They will. But until then, let's just keep shopping. Let's keep singing. Let's keep doing what makes us happy. And just share it with one another. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>